I love how you've you've really you really have gone on a journey there, you know, from what you're originally doing, but along the way you've really identified and played on your strengths as well. Exactly. And I think one of the biggest things I learned, um, I think there's an embedded kind of uh, expectation that you have to know something before you're allowed to do it. Like you have to go get a degree before you do mm -hmm. something. And everything I've done has shown me that that's backward. If you know how to learn, if you are interested in growth and you're willing to experiment, you can do anything. And really good companies will recognize that you are able to learn and able to grow and they'll hire you because they want you to learn how to do this thing. And so I learned how to write on my own. I don't have a formal journalism degree. You know, I, I just wrote a lot. I still make tons of mistakes. I still go to Grammar Girl to figure out whether or not I'm putting the parentheses in the right place. Like I don't actually know. And yet I teach a writing class because I know a lot as well because I've taught myself. And so I just think it, it's so cool that you can play and learn and say, oh, I want to learn that thing and then evolve your own job and evolve your own kind of interests to keep going in the direction you want to go. Absolutely. I think at the same time, something that holds a lot of people back in that arena, and I know something that's definitely helped me back in the past, is that feeling of, oh, I need to be an expert in this, especially before I start charging for it. And so is there any advice in particular that you would have for people who might find themselves in that camp? Absolutely. You don't need to be an expert. I think the word expert is super strange. Mm -hmm. You, it, 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 It's a comparison between you and somebody else. And um, all you have to do is know a little bit more than someone else to actually be helpful. If you know how to ride a bike and you're teaching a four-year-old how to begin, you can teach them. You don't have to be the like best racing cyclist in the world who's won the like Tour de France just to teach somebody how to how to cycle. Mm -hmm. So your specialty can be at any level along the way and you can start teaching and you can start charging very soon because it's not it doesn't take that much to know a little bit more than somebody else. Hmm. I love that advice and I love the bicycle analogy too because it's so true. <laughs> right? none, of, like, none of us are talked to ride by Lance Armstrong, right? <laughs> No. Nope. And there's only one there's only one person who's the best in the world and like just look at probability. It's probably not you. So, we can get that out of our way. <laughs> Which is yeah. fine. Like being the best in the world at something is very hard to do. Being good at something isn't as hard to do. And teaching somebody how to to start well, actually, that field's wide open for a lot of people. And you know what? If you if you try to do it and you mess up or you don't know enough, well, all that does is it tells you you need to learn a little more. And that's not a terrible outcome. You just get to keep learning. <laughs>